Hey everybody, I'm Sam Webb and this is Shopify Dev Tips. Today, I wanna to talk about lazy loading. So let's get started. In my Shopify theme build series, we built this featured product section. And I'll link that if you wanna go take a look. But basically what we did was we created these different product tiles that we can reuse across the site, right? These are gonna, these are being used on the collection page as well and they're gonna be used for any other type of featured product section. And they have the ability to have two images, right? Uh, the image that you see here and then a hover image. So if I hover over uh, the Black Girl from Material Crop Sweatshirt, you'll see that it hovers and shows it, or when I hover, it shows a different image. Right? And it does the same for some of the other ones. Now for this section alone, that's potentially eight images that have to load on the page. And if, you, and if I have a really big collection page with, uh, with you know, let's say 20 different products on there, that's 40 images that have to load on the page. Now when it comes to site speed, uh, images are usually one of the biggest offenders that you'll run into, right? Images are just large by default in terms of their size compared to other things, right? Text is just naturally smaller than an image in terms of file size. And, you know, one of the big things about site speed is how big are the things that you're downloading? And also, when are you downloading those things? What lazy loading does is it takes, it takes on half of that problem, right? It doesn't change the size of the images that you're loading, but it changes when they're loading. So instead of loading before everything else on the page or just everything that comes after them on the page, they don't load until either after everything else on the page has loaded or, after, or until they're actually needed to be displayed on the page. And the main thing that that does is it improves your initial load time, right? Google has a statistic about, you know, for every second that it takes your page to load, there's some drop in customers. I don't know the exact statistics, so you'd have to go look that up. But the idea behind it is that the slower your site loads, uh, people think something's wrong and they'll be much more likely to just leave and go somewhere else. So again, the idea behind lazy loading is to, to figure out what images don't need to load initially and then load them at some later time. And so this isn't something that, that, that's accomplished simply with HTML and CSS. This is something that you would need JavaScript for. And today, we're gonna use a library called Vanilla Lazy Load. And if you look at the description on the side, it's just a lightweight, flexible way to lazy load images and videos and things. So let's start using this. Let's scroll down here. Uh, you'll find this getting started. I actually wanna go down a little bit to this local install where we can actually use NPM or Yarn to install this. And so this is what we need to do. We need to install it. And then wherever we're gonna use it, we need to uh, import it into that file. So I'm going to run yarn add vanilla lazy load and then rerun yarn start. Then we're going to go into our JavaScript and create a component called lazy load. And I'm going to say const init. And export that. Hop into theme. And I'm going to say import. And down here, we're going to run lazy load. Now I'm going to look at the, the console here and refresh the page, and we see that we have this lazy loading thing. Now it's not doing anything yet, this is just a bunch of uh, boilerplate JavaScript. So from here we need to import it. Import lazy load from vanilla lazy load. And then we need to uh, initialize an object from it. So let's say const lazy instance equals New lazy load, lazy load. So the next thing we need to do is tell it which images that we actually want to lazy load. So we have this image here, and then we also have this uh, this background image. So let's start with this image first. And I'm gonna start by changing this to data source. So if I go back to this and I just add the class lazy, if I inspect this, we'll see that we have the data source here, and then 
uh, if we come all the way down here, we actually have a source on here. So this is what happens, right? Once, once the library realizes that this image is needed, then it loads it in in the source. So now we want to do the same thing with the background image. And so in this case, I'll copy the actual image code and then delete the background image and the style from this. Right, and save that. We come back here and we start hovering over these. We see that it just goes away. There's no background image. But if I say data BG, so let's give it the class lazy. And now when I hover over it, we've got that added. So that's how you add lazy loading to your images. You can add this to all of your images. You can add it to your videos as well. So just make sure you take a look at the documentation. I will link it in the description below. So hopefully that video was helpful. If it was, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time.